What's going on guys? Welcome to another video today on Hawaii Knife and Gear. I wanted to show you a knife that I just got in trade the other day and it was a really cool piece. The guy that I traded with, he seemed happy overall with the one that I sent him and you know I was happy to get the one that he was willing to trade so I wanted to share with you today. It is going to be this older discontinued Benchmade AFCK in ATS 34 tool steel. So, admittedly, I'm not the biggest Benchmade fan out there. You can probably tell by my channel already, but you know, just overall, while I don't really agree with some of the politics of their company, I just, you know, I never really wanted to go out and buy Benchmade knives anyway before all that went down. I do have one other one that I own that I won't part with, but besides that one, this, this only makes the third Benchmade I've ever owned in my life. So I thought it was cool though. So I wanted to share it. If anybody has any better information on it, please feel free to leave it in the comments, but I'll show you the dimensions on it. Hopefully that'll, that'll kind of help let me know what model it is here. This one is nine and an eighth overall, and it has a four inch blade on it. This one does have a combo edge blade, partially serrated. Looks like a flat grind to it. And this is, before they even started using their current logo, this one still has the older Ballysong logo to it. So definitely a neat knife. This one, from what I was reading, was designed as a kind of a close quarters combat knife. And back in the early 90s, before everything started to get overly tactical, before they even started using their axis lock, this is what you got for a tactical folding knife. And it was definitely purpose-built and designed that way. The ergonomics on it are really good. In hand, it's super comfortable. Reverse grip, you can tell it would be pretty wicked. But pretty neat knife. This is a liner lock. It is black G10, and I believe it's titanium liners. But you can see even the locking setup on it is a little bit different than what you get these days. Rather than having the disengage down here, you actually kind of hit it with the tip of your thumb. So it does disengage really easy and then opens very easy with the thumb hole. You can actually just flick this one and blade's nice and heavy, so gravity takes this one right open. I would say probably the only thing that would have kept me from buying this, well, besides the price, but the clip is at the wrong end for my personal taste, but I'm sure it, it had a design intent being at that end. So definitely a cool knife overall though. You can see it's got some real nice jimping up here by the thumb. You just get a good grip on this thing. That's definitely the first thing I noticed. It is just solid in hand. Got, looks like G10 backspacer. Does have a lanyard hole back at the back. But definitely a cool knife. I was reading a little bit on the blade forums. And I think this is more of a collectible at this point than something that somebody would really want to use and carry. But back in the early 90s, this is what you got for a tactical folding knife. So I thought I'd share it with you guys today. Like I said, this is one of three bench maze I've ever owned in my life. I did have a full-size Griptilian not too long ago, but you know, it just wasn't exactly my style and somebody else liked it better than me, so I passed that one on. And then the only other bench maze I've ever owned is this model 722 Melpar Dude design. And I actually carried this knife for about 15 years. So Say what you will about the company and their politics, but they do build a solid knife. There's there's really no arguing with that. This thing took years of use and abuse and still functions perfectly. So can't say anything bad about the, uh, the quality of their knives. That's for sure. They do hold up. So that's what I wanted to share today. And if you're still watching, the other thing I wanted to mention Woodland Tactical Channel just put out another video today, an update on his giveaway with some information on the prize packs for his giveaway. I want to actually add something to that. 
my giveaway video that I just posted, I had overwhelming response already to it and I'm getting close to doing the drawing on my own video, but what I wanted to do since, you know, trying to keep the momentum going and keep people really supporting Travis in every way that we can, I wanted to give everybody an extra chance. So on Woodland Tacticals giveaway, you have a three chances to win over there because there's first, second, and third place prize packs. So what I'd like to do, if you've already donated to the GoFundMe page, go into my video and say, hey, I'm in. If you would like an extra chance to win on my video, leave a comment after you don donate over at the GoFundMe page and say, hey, I'm in. I'm going to do a second drawing as well for a, another two sun knife. So I'm actually going to be giving away two two sun knives. Could be any one of these guys. And, uh, you know, it'll give you a quite a few chances to win. So you've got three chances to win on his video and then you'll have two chances to win on mine if you go ahead and donate on the GoFundMe. So I also want to say another huge thank you. The guy that sent me this knife, he also was incredibly generous and sent me all of these pieces of Hawaiian koa. He's actually here in Hawaii. He's on one of the outer islands, but he sent these pieces over. He had seen some of the modifications that I've done and he decided to send me some pieces that he had just awesome awesome looking pieces and those will absolutely be going to making some nice inserts you can see some of these are just beautiful so I wanted to say thank you again to him these are very cool I will absolutely make use of those and yeah go ahead and I'll leave the link below for the GoFundMe. Go ahead and drop a donation over there. Whatever you can, even if it's a couple bucks, it's definitely every little bit is going to help him out. I saw pictures that he posted on Instagram of all of the surgeries and hardware that Travis had to have after his fall. And he has probably more titanium in him now than I have sitting here. And that's saying a lot because most of these are titanium knives I mean he has pins and screws in so many different joints and area of his body you know my thoughts and prayers are with him and his family really hope his recovery is going okay and uh, let's all do what we can to pull together and help out so that's what I want to do anybody who donates at the GoFundMe you get a second chance to win on my video also so that's what I got today thank you guys for sticking around for my video Hope you enjoyed something a little bit different. If you have any information on this bench made, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I would love to hear it. And uh, hope everybody's having a great day. I'll catch you at the next video. Say goodbye, chicken. All right. Thanks, guys.